Hello students and friends. Welcome back to my session on PLC in 2020 days. We are in day 4. In today's session, we will see about how to write a ladder logic program for developing a quiz console unit. A quiz console unit, if at all if you want to uh, conduct a quiz show, there are 4 teams. Team A, B, C, D and a master. So, uh, there are 4 teams. So, 4 consoles plus one more console for the master, the quiz master. Okay. So, for team A, one input and one output. Because one input for, uh, is, since uh, if he knows the answer first, he has to give that signal, you know. So, that is the input uh, for team A. Okay, so this is the button, input button. So, X0 is the input for the team A. Output, that bulb should glow, you know. Team A bulb should glow in his console. So, Y0 is the output for team A. In the same way, team B, input X1, output Y1. Team C, X2 input, Y2 output. Team D, X3 input, Y3 output. For the Quizmaster console, one input is required to reset the circuit then only he can move for the next question for that one input one switch one output either team a b c d are pressing for example if team a b presses first y1 bulb and the quiz master bulb also should glow because he should know someone has answered so this is the indication so, okay so that is the thing so one out one in for the quiz master console one input to reset the setup the system and one output for glowing the bulb okay so with that we'll go for the program to start with to write a pro to start with right for writing a program i'll be considering team a and b first with that we'll test the program on all aspects after that we'll add team c and d also okay so open the GX developer now X0 is the input for the team A then M0 is the auxiliary relay okay it should be last it should be last then uh, if m0 is on y0 is on at the same time let me copy this not only y0 the team a by y0 is a team a bulb team master bulb also should be on you know so master bulb what is the note what, what is the symbol or the uh, number for the app master bulb y4 okay i just copied the same line then that's it okay compile save it as uh, exercise 6 save it then and there sometime my system is hanging okay for better understanding please add comments please add comments input for team a then output for team a and this is the master bulb so this will be always uh, uh, useful you can easily read the statements programs okay so let me undo it now in the meantime i will add one more thing here called output actuation all the main statements are above the output actuation line all the output actuation will happen here so team a is over okay let me copy the same thing for team b in place of uh, so this is on you know 
so in place of uh, x0 i put x1 this is m1 this is m1 save then and there so this is for let me add comment for x0 also before that uh, i'll add one more thing for the team b so whenever m1 is on this y1 is on okay i will add comments for this uh, x1 also let me copy this one let me paste it here replace a by b so it becomes b so this is the input for team b and uh, this is the output for team b of course so this is the output for team a i am copying it and this is the output for team b okay then one more point if whether a team a pressed or team b pressed if team a pressed team a bulb alone should glow and master bulb should glow otherwise if team b pressed team b bulb again the master bulb should glow so that means for master bulb this is the logic so m0 or m1 if any one is anything is on this is our logic of course the master bulb should glow because the master should know someone has pressed right now with this we'll test the ladder logic okay then we'll refine the ladder logic after th after that i want to show you in a single page that is why i zoomed in that is why i zoomed in go for ladder logic test go for ladder logic test this is the button for the ladder logic test uh, sometime it is hanging even though the session is uh, for uh, uh, 15 20 minutes uh, it, it is uh, my system is hanging and resetting uh, that is why it takes some time okay now we are ready for the ladder logic test right click device test now i keep it aside now you see uh, the the quiz master asked the question there are team, two teams team a and team b let us say team a presses the button first so that is x0 presses first then after some time it is off also okay pressed and released since it is last m0 is on since m0 is on bulb for team a and master bulb y4 both will be on okay then what should be the case after some time the team a pressed first after some time if team b pressed actually this should not be in effect actually but that condition we have we haven't included anyway we will see what happens so team b also pressed after some time so that means m1 is also on so the program is not perfect the program is not yet perfect let me switch off the ladder logic now we have to add the conditions now we have to add the conditions so go to write mode again let me zoom in now you see let us say team a pressed first but while pressing team a pressing first we have to ensure that team b haven't pressed first that means here you put m1 should not be on again i repeat the idea here is x0 is trying to press first but this should be in effect only if one and only if m1 is not on m1 m1 means the team b has not pressed 
then only m0 will be on otherwise m0 will not be on and the master has a reset you know for reset what we have given x4 is the reset button right so copy the same control c control v in place of m1 i let me put x4 now let me add comment also what is the comment master reset master reset okay i'll copy these things i'll put it here in place of m0 i have to type m1 m0 uh, in place of m1 i have to type m0 that's it for our safety you can include the x4 also normally close to x4 also here okay so now you see i'll tell you uh, master quiz master asks the question team a know the answer first team a presses the moment team a presses before m0 is on it should check m1 should not be on x4 should not be on of course uh, team b is m1 is corresponding to team b of course team b have been pressed so m1 should not be on so it is okay reset button is also not pressed by the quiz master because this question should be completed okay once he get the uh, the master receive the answer from any one of the teams uh, then only he will press the reset otherwise he will not press the reset so these two conditions satisfied so m0 is on the m0 is on means y0 the M a bulb and master bulb both will be on the y0 team b bulb will not be on okay now team a pressed so this that is the logic now say after some time after few seconds team b is trying to press knowingly or unknowingly what will happen if this is on m1 should be on before to, uh, if suppose m1 to be on it, sh it has to satisfy these two conditions m m0 should not be on what is the status now m0 is already on so since m0 is already on this will prevent even though the team b presses this will prevent m1 not to on this will stop m1 to on condition so that is the statement okay that is the statement and uh, for the next question yes to the master has to press the reset you know the moment he presses switch on the reset this will cut m0 m1 y0 y1 y4 all the things it will cut it will turn all the things into off status shall we see the logic now let me zoom yeah all will be visible okay now we go to the ladder logic test device test alt 1 the device test now uh, we'll assume the situation the quiz master asks the question there are only two teams team a and b okay we'll consider, we'll see about team c and d once you understood this one so quiz master raised the question already let us assume that team a know the answer first he is pressing he is pressing the button so that means x0 here x0 is on momentarily and he released and he released so now you see m0 is on since m0 is on team a bulb and master bulb is on right now after some time see by mistake or unknowingly team b is trying to press if team b is trying to press that bulb should not be on that should be the logic for the quiz master console unit design okay now you see it is on but 
this will prevent already m not should not be on but what is the condition m not is already on so this is not allowing this is not allowing even though team b is pressing this will not the m0 will not allow the m1 to on you got the point so i think uh, you understood i understand I, i i i believe that you understood the concept if it is not clear rewind the video and play it again okay now the question is over now the quiz master has to go for the next question so he has to reset the setup so what is the reset x4 x4 is the reset button so he quiz master presses the reset button momentarily force on and force off you see all goes off all goes off okay again i repeat this is very crucial if it is clear okay you can proceed further otherwise rewind and replay the video now let me add teams c and d now let me add team c and d now let me zoom in to 100 percent okay so uh what is a uh, team c team c x2 y2 x2 m2 m2 at the same time here i have to add m 1 m2 and m3 all these three things should not be on okay okay m0 okay here m0 m m0 of course m1 m0 m3 all these things should not be on so team c included then for team d for team d uh, x3 is team d right so m0 m1 m2 should not be on okay that's it that's it this side program is over the output side we will see if m2 is on y2 is on if m3 is on y3 is on then m0 m1 m2 m3 whether team a or team b or team c or team d presses master bulb should be on so there is a logic let me add comment also for then only you will be it will be easy for you to understand add comment i'll be copying it this is what team c this is what team d then output for team c output for team d so this is the program okay i don't want to run it you try by yourself 
so i will be copying this i'll and saving it as a pdf file it will be added as a link in the description okay you can by clicking the link available in the description you can download i can you can see that okay so thank you bye bye